Hi everyone, Simon here wishing you all a happy new year and here to let you know about Tempin Toolkit version 2.4.5. It's a big update featuring a few new features and updates that I'll get to in a minute, but first I wanted to head into the pattern library and show you the main new feature of this release that will give you a whole new way to look at oil patterns. When you view any pattern now, you'll see two new diagrams here on the right, in addition to the main lane diagram. First we've got the traditional composite graph that you're probably used to seeing on most pattern sheets. That's basically showing you how much oil there is on each board, as if you'd dragged all the oil back to the foul line. And across the top here we have the ratio numbers, those being the ratio of oil between each area towards the outsides of the lane compared to the centre. Then we have a different version of that that I've created, which takes the same idea but looks at the lane side on. So rather than each board, we're looking at each foot of lane as if all the oil has been pulled across to the one board. So that means you now have everything you're used to seeing on a printed pattern sheet right here in Tempin Toolkit, as well as this completely new way of looking at the pattern front to back. But actually, I've never really thought that the standard composite graphs were particularly useful. With the oil from the whole lane pulled together like that, it's not really that much more informative than just knowing the volume and the forward and reverse oil numbers, which we have at the top here. So to give you more of an insight into a pattern and how the oil is distributed, I've made all of these diagrams interactive. We can now tap on any part of the lane or drag up and down, and the other diagrams, along with the forward and reverse oil values, update in real time, highlighting or just showing the oil in that area. We can also tap or drag on the smaller front to back diagram to do the same thing. You can even do the same on the left to right diagram to zone in on each five board area of the lane. And if you want to get really detailed, you can combine both to focus on one particular five foot by five board area. I'm super excited to get this out there and see how people use it and interpret this new perspective on oil patterns that these interactive charts can give you. I've already found it really interesting looking at patterns like this one and discovering things like my perception that past 30 feet here, I'd be heading into more oil, when actually you can see that there's considerably more oil per board in the previous five feet of lane. So let me know if you make any interesting discoveries and observations yourself while using this. But moving on now to the other new stuff in this release, we'll stay in the pattern library for the moment and go into custom patterns. When you're editing a custom pattern, there are now number inputs. So you can just double tap in there, select the number and type straight in if you don't want to use the sliders. And in the main information for a custom pattern, I've increased the maximum value limits a little bit, as I've had a few people get in touch trying to add patterns with particularly high volume or ratios. I've also cleaned up a lot of the oil pattern data so that it's easier to browse and search, restructured the categories with nicer logos, added some further categories under other and added a load more patterns to the database. Moving over to the ball speed and RPM tool, when you're working with a video in advanced mode and have worked out your launch speed and rev rate, you'll now see a guide on whether the shot was rev dominant, speed dominant or matched and you can tap on that for an idea of what the ideal match numbers might be. As it mentions right here, it's worth noting that there are other factors that affect what might be considered matched up for an individual bowler, so just take these numbers as a guide. And that's version 2.4.5. It's out now, and as usual, you should find your device updates automatically sometime over the next few days. If you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to contact me. You can do that via the website at www.tempintoolkit.com or come and find me on Instagram and Twitter as Tenpin Toolkit, all one word, or search for Tenpin Toolkit on Facebook. Thanks for watching, and bowl well.